Hello, friends. Uh, maybe sound off in the comments and let me know, as always, kind of where volume levels are, because I will tell you that uh, once again, oh, that's not where I want that to go. Um, I am having a little bit of difficulty with my sound and stuff, so I'm using this uh, quasi-terrible microphone here. So um, at some point in my life, I am going to come around and finally just buy myself a USB mic and go from there. But um, as you can see, we've got Stardew Valley. Is it gonna work for me? There we go. And I've never played Stardew Valley before. Uh, and I was asking today like, hey, should we play Stardew Valley? Should we play uh, Death Road to Canada? It looks like Death Road to Canada got kicked down the road a little bit. Um, but you know, I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, it's been a long week. And I think the idea of finding something nice to just calmly ease my way through sounds pretty good so let's go ahead and get started here hi rachel thanks for hanging out with me this afternoon so let's see my name i'm gonna be farmer obi-wan farm name it seems to me it's got to be the kent farm because i mean you know kent farm is okay favorite favorite thing what's my favorite thing Boy, I do not know the answer that's got to be the Kent Farm. What is my favorite thing? Um, coffee. Let's see, do I want to have a dog or a cat? I'm deathly allergic to cats, so let's go with a dog. Okay, I'm a guy. My eye color is blue. My hair color is close enough. I could never convince anyone in the world I had dark skin. There we go. Nice and pale. That's me. Uh, I kind of like that one. Is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think we might have to get that. Ooh, I can have... No, nah, let's be honest. We got nothing on us. No accessories. But I've got a skull shirt, which I love. All right. So we can choose different kinds of farms. Wilderness farm. Monsters come out at night. Ooh, Ooh baby. Like, that sounds kind of cool, right? Uh, hilltop farm. No rocky terrain. The woods limit your farming space. I'm just gonna go with the standard farm, right? Like, let's just let's just jump into that. So, for everybody that's ever said Obadiah, all the stuff you ever like is uh, death and destruction. Look at this. Look at how nice it is. Uh oh. No, I say no to death and destruction in here. It looks like somebody's dying. Oh, that's my grandpa. It looks like my grandpa is Green Santa Claus. Kind of digging on the music. Dude, look at that sword he had above the fireplace there. What's up? Don't open it yet. Have patience. Oh, yeah, come on. Crushed by the burden of modern life. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, oh no! I skipped it! I know what happens. You end up opening an envelope from your grandpa and you move to Stardew Valley. So here we are. Ah, uh, I've got my cup of coffee. Do you have yours? I skipped it! I don't know what's going on where you're at right now, but I can tell you at my house, it's we're supposed to have like this nightmarish freezing rain. It's not even raining right now. Like nothing is happening. Doesn't mean it won't. All right, here I am. Hi, Robin. You must be Obi-Wan. Must I? All right, Robin, let's go meet the mayor. And 
while you seem attractive enough, I have to warn you, I'm not willing to have a Hallmark movie with you, okay? I'm from the big city, and I'm trying to rediscover the farm that my grandpa left me, but this is not a Hallmark movie. Which is probably my way of saying that it is going to end up being a Hallmark movie. Hey, nice farm, right? I mean, it's not much, but it's mine. Kent Farm. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Robin, let's clean this place up. Is that the mayor? Yep, that's Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Everyone's been asking about me. Look at how popular I am already, and I just got here. My grandfather's old cottage. All right, seems nice. Hey Robin, don't get smart about the cabin, okay? Yeah, thank you, Mayor McCheese. I appreciate that. Oh, so she's a realtor, huh? Oh no, she's a carpenter. So she wants to upgrade my house. Okay. Hey, Rachel, the farm isn't... I mean, it could be worse, right? It's, it's a real fixer-upper opportunity, but it was free. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night and collect it. Mayor's working some odd hours, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My progress has been saved. It's all coming together now. Oh, look, I got a package. Parsnip seeds. Well, thanks, Mayor Lewis. Let's go ahead and read through this since I have no idea what I'm doing. If you want to be more farm, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. Use a seed packet on the tilled soil. Water every day until the crop is ready. Wait. Oh, is that a goal? It'd be a nice gesture to enter yourself, introduce yourself around town. Okay. So how do I switch up tools? If you're wondering or care, I'm playing with a controller, but maybe... Woo! Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Can I... Nope. So this is my axe. Huh. I don't know how I'm supposed to... I guess I could just hit the keyboard. Oh, not good, guys. Is that the hoe, do you think? All right, whatever. Uh, look, I'm getting fiber. That's great. All right, since I have no idea how to actually play this game, I wonder if I can chop down that tree. Oh, yeah, you can. Come on. Wonder how many days I'm going to spend chopping down this tree. Now I've got to clear the... Okay. So I'm thinking we clear some space here and plant some parsnip, guys. You know what I'm saying? For a game that's supposed to be relaxing, it's already got me working, you know? Oh, okay. So now I know how to switch my stuff. Skills. Wow. Okay. Axe, hoe. All right, let's try the... No, I just want to use it. Oh, no! No, don't throw it away! No, what? Boy, it's really trying to get me to throw that away. Would you please not do that? Oh, I see. 
the pointy finger. It makes a big difference. I would really like to know how to equip different items. Oh, okay, so I just gotta use this pointy guy. There we go. Hey, cool. All right, we're making some farm now, kids. I'm gonna grow some parsnip, and then we're gonna sell them at the farm market on Saturday. Can we, what do we, how do we get rid of the rocks? Aaron says maybe pickaxe clears the rocks. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Dude, look at you. Thank you. Now we're going to get rid of these rocks. All right, back to this hoe. Okay, now. Sap. Stone seeds. Here we go. Yeah, that's the one. Come on. Oh, I can't because there's... Oh, no, I used them already. I don't know if it's wise to, you know, do this farming so close to my house, but it seems like a good place to start. I'm just going to plant them all. Might as well, right? Now, let's water. Is that making anybody else thirsty? Makes me wish I had some actual water instead of just this coffee. You know, people don't seem as excited. Uh, <laughs> this is not as exciting as American Truck Simulator later was. I won't lie to you, but it is nice and laid back. Everyone was saying uh, on the rock, sluggish from, oh, oh boy, I'm really moving slow. So if I'm real tired, what am, how do I rest? Whoop. It's only 1130 in the morning. What, I got to take a nap? All right, y'all. Anybody know how to make this guy rest? He's tired. Think he needs some fiber? He's hungry. Go find out. Let's see if he'll take a nap. Or what if he just sits down? Let's try sitting down. Nobody grabbed the decorative bowl. Let's check out the TV. Beautiful sunny day. Fortune teller. I can't condone it in real life, but let's see what it says. Living off the land. <laughs> All right, it's everybody's favorite show, Living Off the Land. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Okay, I will. But I'm so tired right now. No, not for the night. The bed is probably a good place to start. No, I know. I got that, but I, it seems to me that it's like 12 p.m. Like, doesn't it seem a little too early to be sleeping? What is this thing right here? Journal. No, I got that. Oh, I wonder if he just stays exhausted for the rest of the day. Is that a thing? Ah, stay tired then. We're getting off the axe. I'm working you to death, son. Uh-oh. Look at his energy shake. Can't do it. All right, well, let's find out what happens if you go to bed at 120. Heaven knows I've had enough days when I've wanted to live like that. Yeah, sure, why not? Progress is saved. I only have half my energy back. 
So bro probably needs to eat, right? Yeah, I've got some mail. Willie is at the beach. Let's go find out what's up with Willie. Does anybody know where the beach is? We got a map, right? Someone named Willie invited you to the beach. Visit the beach south of town before 5 p.m. South of town. Oh yeah, Elliot's cabin. Can we mark that? No, we can't mark it. All right, whatever. Let's take a walk. We really need to remember to water those parsnips though before, you know, the end of the day. Year one? <laughs> We're too early. It really is me. It's just like the riot. You're up early for breakfast and nobody's awake. Hey Casey, how are you? We're streaming. Stardew Valley. Oh. Oh no. What's up, dead people? How you doing? Our beloved Mona. Mm-hmm. Yep. Everybody speaks that language. Let's see if we can find Elia down here. Hey, Willie! Or wait, maybe it was Willie I was supposed to see. I hope that's right. I'm terrible with names, even in video games. An old fishing rod, dude. Teach a man to fish, right? Da -da 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 -da. A bamboo pole. All right, man, tell me how to fish. Come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. Hey, so here we go. <laughs> if it smells, it sells. All right, let's try catching some fish. Nice. Okay, now I know how to reel it in if we catch something. You gotta hit X again. Waiting, waiting. Almost as boring as fishing in real life. Come on, bro. All right, let's try casting again. Dude, even Willie got bored, look at that. Oh, come on! Oh. Boy, this is kind of a bummer, huh? Loving the sound effects, though. Yes! Yes! How am I supposed to do this? Oh! Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. No, we're gonna lose him! No, 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 no! Boy, this is a... We got it! <laughs> That is a funky mini game for fishing right there. That's good though. Let me in. W hey Willie, I got a fish, bro. No, no, no. You gotta 
I don't want to buy fishing supplies. I want you to buy my fish. I just made 30 bucks. Coin. Gold. Something. Hmm. All right, so now we know how to fish. Now what? Hey, Christine, how are you? Uh, Casey wants to know if I play PS4, Call of Duty, Black Ops 3. The answer to that is no. I don't. I got Black Ops 3 for the PC, but I'll be honest with you. Black Ops 3 and I didn't get along super well. It's not that it's not a good game. Hey, what's down in here? Or over here. 300 pieces of wood. Ah, well, apparently we're not Elliot's friend enough yet. Let's go into town. Let's meet some people. See what we got. Oh, excuse me, friend. Jazz. Hi. You got, you got anything else? You say anything else? No? Okay. All right. What's up, yo? How you doing? Oh, this is the shop. What do you got for me? Oh, man. Seems like there's going to be... <laughs> Clint does not want me going in the other room. I don't blame you, Clint. Well, if I need to buy gold, I can always hit up old Clint. Hey, look, an Airstream. Join us. Thrive. <laughs> that sounds pretty creepy. Michelle says she has to go adult. Okay. Have a good time adulting, Michelle. Uh, all right. This <laughs> is... Uh, hi. Joja Mart. Morris, the customer satisfaction representative? Remember. I just feel like my guy needs to eat. Hey, is there oh I thought they were giving out samples. Yeah, I I don't I don't know how to eat. All right, let's have a Joja Cola. Let's give that a whirl right there. All right, see his energy went up, which means there's got to be a way to, to feed this dude. Excuse me, do you want to be random kids or random friends in the store? My name's Pam. Hey, Pam. How you doing? All right. Oh, Diet, it seems like you don't know what you're doing. Yes, that's right. I have no idea. Justin says, it's cool you're playing this. It seems to be a big thing, but I don't know. I don't anything about it. Justin, I'm with you, man. I don't know pretty much anything about it. And hello, Reagan. Yes, I am playing this on the PC right now. Man, look, even in video games, they're trying to get me hooked back on soda. Hey, Abigail. Listen, I'm single and want to mingle, okay? I mean, I know it's just a game, but if, you know, if you want to build a relationship on the relationship meter, you know where to find me. I'm at the farm outside of town. Well, look, the mayor likes to shop here. <gasps> we could get some potato seeds. Let's get, let's grow some potatoes, guys. It's gonna be six days. No, no, just it's okay, buddy. You can just put them, put them away. Uh. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh boy, my inventory is full. This is not good. Okay, I just threw away a decorative bowl. That's fine. What is it? Can I do yoga in here? Is that what this is? Oh, 
<laughs> why are you guys all working out in front of a fireplace? It's not for me to say, but dang. Uh, Marnie smiles at you through a mist of sweat. Yes, Emily, exercising can be fun, but instead of exercising, I've chosen to play this video game. Hey, look, it's Robin. What's up, girl? How you doing? Um, is this the restaurant? Oh my gosh, this is the Holy of Holies. That's the Ark of the Covenant, and I think that's the mercy seat. <laughs> what? It really is an altar? What is that? Little creepy. Alright, it's getting to be 3 o'clock. Let's get back to the farm because I want to make sure that we water those parsnips before anything bad happens. Let's see. Okay, now let's get to watering these guys. I guess we can just stand on them, right? Alright, that's pretty good. We're not completely out of energy yet. Anybody know where we can fill up? All right, there's a cave. The Cave of Kyar Banor. Where? Carved in living rooms. We should probably go ahead and sell. All right, he's going to get tired fast. We keep this up. Go see what's up here. Could have planted. Maybe I should have planted the potatoes. I'm wondering where Bro's supposed to get water and stuff. Like my can's almost empty. He's got no running water in that cabin that I know of. this it's nothing all right let's drop some stuff in here for mayor mccheese to pick up so let's see we can sell him wood sap i guess we'll sell put the sap in there I hope I don't end up wishing that I had these resources later. Oh well, looks like there's lots of trees to chop down, right? Justin says don't forget to plant the potatoes. No, I haven't forgotten. I just haven't done it yet. Let's see. Let's plant them. Oh, what are these? Oh, that's it? Oh, I already planted some. Okay. It can be refilled at any water source. So in other words, while we were down at the ocean, we should have filled it. If we could have. 640. Let's go out. Is there a close water source? Yeah, there's a lake down there. It's going to tire out on me. fill this thing up. Hey, right on. Now we got plenty of water. I still want to know if this guy's ever going to get anything to eat. Can you start a fire? Sure can. story on the weather.
if it rains all day, then I shouldn't have to water anything, so maybe we'll head into town. Hello, Marcy. Thanks for hanging out with us. Marcy, I got your message about Radio U being tagged as an oldie station. All right, day two. I sold some sap and some rocks. Okay. Day three. Okay, so should I turn the fire off when I leave? Does, does anybody know? I don't know. Dude, look at that. His energy's all the way up. So maybe... Maybe nothing. I don't know. Let's There's got to be a way to, like, keep his energy from going all the way down like that, right? I guess I think we should work... Well, if we head into town, nobody's going to be in town yet. I'm loving that we don't have to water today. I think you need the pick stamp pickaxe for clay. Yep. For how long it takes for those parsnips to grow. Let's go back into town and see what we find. What's this? I think this is the journal, right? What's the story on the journal? I've met 10 of 28 people. And what else? I think there's anything that explains inventory. Hmm. No, not really. I know that there is that cave over there where you can go, like, hunt monsters or something, but... Let's see what's up here. Whoa, where does it take us? Calico Desert. Okay. Aaron says, I'm totally getting this on Steam when I get home. Jessica, where can I come over and play this? Jessica, you can get this on Steam, and I, it'll play on the Mac. It'll play on the PC. It's available on the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and it's also on the Nintendo Switch. Pierre's is closed on Wednesdays? That's pretty random, bro. Hey, let's go into this person's house we've never met. That seems normal. What's up, Alex? How you doing? I'm gonna talk to your grandma. All right, Evelyn, I'll call you granny. Can I get something to eat, though, for real? It's a well-stocked refrigerator. What's up, grandpa? <laughs> well, George did not invite me to call him grandpa, so... So it doesn't seem like there's a, an invitation to roll super deep on any kind of Stardew Valley lore at this point. Looks like this guy's got a little grandma's cough syrup out here on the porch. Or girl, sorry, my bad. Oh, that's rough. Pam lost her job. So am I supposed to help her get her job back? You know, I'm used to playing some very objective-based games, and so nobody's giving me a checklist. Jessica, this is uh, Stardew Valley, and yes, it's out on PlayStation 4. You're right. Brandon says the word is that multiplayer is on the way. Okay, that sounds cool. I see that Nikki has joined this stream. I say that, Nikki, you'll be playing this on your Mac or Switch very soon. You would think he would love this game. All right, so what's the story in here? 
there's nobody here. And you can't... Oh, this is the mayor's house. Milk and iced tea. <laughs> okay, so we now know that we can both get married and get divorced in the game. That's pretty serious. Let's go check out the sewer. Oh, okay. I guess we won't. Super Fashion Girl magazine. Do you have a recording of you and Death Road? You know what, Grace? No, not yet. Um, Death Road to Canada is going to be our next Obadiah plays after this. This won the... Uh, what do you call it? Where everybody votes. The poll. Gosh. What's up, Vincent? I'm a stranger that just walked into your house, but it's cool. And your mom apparently didn't even care that I walked in the house. <laughs> Jody, you should seriously consider getting yourself a Roomba uh, to clean the floors for you. What's up, Sam? All right, so how many people have I met? 15 of the 28 people. Got some cows up there. What's up, cows? Only Leah's friends. Man, this is like a serious house you got going here. It's a shop. I can buy a heater. Milk pail shares. Looks like I probably need to start rolling in to get myself some money. Do you know what else we need to do? We should get some animals for our farm. Definitely not very much money in just clearing the land, though. That sure didn't get us much. Oh, hello. Now, see, if this was Zelda, I would go up here and a fairy would come out and all my energy would come back. If I'm going to waste energy clearing something, I have to probably clear my own land. Ooh, you can give people gifts? Whoa. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. There's a crafting menu. Didn't see that. Oh, that's cool. You guys hear that sound? Wizard's Tower? What is that? All right, we're going to go work on the farm for a while, and we might go to the Wizard's Tower tomorrow. I'm not going to lie to you. That sounds kind of awesome. Uh, let's see. Jessica says 15 bucks on the PlayStation Store. Yeah, I got this for $10 during the Steam holiday sale. Thanks to my mom for hooking me up with some gift cards for Christmas. She is the founder of this feast. So you guys all owe my mom big, I guess. It would appear that I'm doing a very bad job reading the map because I can't seem to find my way. Oh, this is my farm. Okay. Uh-huh. It's just the farm from the other direction, right? I don't know, whatever. Let's clear some stuff. I'll tell you what, I feel like I have to be super careful every time I do anything, because now that I know I can lose my energy. Yeah. 
axe isn't strong enough to break this stump. And I gotta tell you, everywhere we <laughs> turn in life, what are we dealing with? Roadblocks. Whoa! The Sith is the boss! Wizard Tower is far left. Yeah, that's... We're going there. Like, that's gonna be a thing. Oh, uh, let's see. Nathan wants to know what the objective of the game is. Uh, I think to live well. <laughs> uh, I seriously don't know where my farm is. Is this it? Yeah, it is. Hey, friends. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's clear some more land. It's almost time for bed anyway. You guys don't know this, but he he goes to bed early. Obi-Wan, the game character farmer. And this Sith is for real. All right, it's not that real. All right. What I would really like to know is, I would like to know... Uh, it looks like some of you guys have played this. Zach, you said you know where you saw the Wizard Tower thing. So tell me this. When my character's energy is going down, how do I get him to rest? And does he need to eat? I would like to know that. Does bro need to eat? Man, I'll tell you what, chopping those down is no joke. Okay, let's take a look at this crafting menu again. Keeps grass and animals contained. Well, we don't need to spruce the farm up just yet. Seems like maybe we could get some animals though. Maybe put them over here. That's an idea. Let's chop this big old tree down, then we'll put him to bed. Food or sleep? All right, dude, sit like he had a late night. Apparently, if you don't let him get completely exhausted. Oh, dude, here we go. Look at my parsnips. They're coming up nice, right? But they're probably not completely ready. Let's go ahead and water them. Oh, there we go. That's a problem. I want some animals, but it seems like maybe we should just go buy some more seeds, right?
no idea like what we'll be able to sell our food for once we can actually harvest the stuff. Okay. You won't lose energy clearing grass. All right, thanks for that tip, Kenny. All right, then here's, the, here's another thing I don't know that I need to know, right? Where, like, where do I get food? Do I eat the food that I grow or should I go into town and buy food? Three mixed seeds? Do I? Yeah, you're right, I do. Check that out. Well, let's just plant some more. Okay. And that's all I've got. Oh, but we should water it, right? Whoops. What's up, Justin? How's it going, man? Thanks for stopping by and playing some Stardew Valley with us. What is energy being gone like that? Did it kill you that much to do a little watering? Well, we knew it would be six days on the potatoes. Which means... Wait, what's this? Hey, Lewis's birthday is coming up. Ten days to mature. Yield to multiple beans per harvest. Grows under trellis. Twelve days? Four days. Dude, we're gonna have parsnip tomorrow. What's up? Think we should plant some more potatoes? Eat what you grow is cheaper, but there are special benefits if you buy prepared meals. Alright, so what's the fastest way to make money? That's what we gotta figure out. Tulips? Jazz seeds? No, we don't need grass. No, we're good. $30,000? Oh, okay. Whoa. We got some high-priced items in the store today, and this guy is poor right now. You know what? Let's plant some more parsnips. We don't have a lot of money. All right. Let's go back and plant these guys. So depending on where you're watching from, I'm wondering where I live, we were supposed to get like this snow apocalypse, snow mageddon, freezing rain. It was like mass chaos. I stopped at the store to buy two things last night. And I was almost trampled by basically everybody in the store. It was like playing PUBG, but for real. And, uh, I mean, it hasn't, like, where I, where I was, at least when I was upstairs like an hour ago, it hasn't, like, it quit raining altogether. Well, let's see. Let's plant some seeds. Can't plant there? I mean, like, every school within 100 miles of my house is already... They got out way early. Fast money, go dungeon crawling. <sighs> Reinvest that money into more seeds to grow and harvest. All right, so we got to keep growing. But you know what? We're totally dungeon crawling. Oh, wait, but what about a weapon? Does my axe... Can I use my axe as a weapon? Hmm. All right, Cave, what's up? What do you got? Oh. So is the dungeon crawl over there the Mortal Kombat code for unlimited money? I love the sound of that. Okay. Do 
don't use the axe. So should I clear out this? Yeah, we'll go and clear out this stuff. We should do that. We go fishing. So I'm told that one of the best things about this game is it makes it so easy to just relax and play. Managing that energy meter is stressing me out. All right. Let's go ahead and go into town. Maybe we'll meet some, man, remember all those ladies that were at the exercise place? Maybe we'll go meet some of them. Hello, would you like to help me build my relationship meter? Oh, she wants Pierre to cook dinner tonight. Okay, so here's what I'm wondering. Like, when they tell you something like that, should I go find Pierre and talk to him and say like, hey, Pierre, you should cook dinner tonight. And where is Pierre? Yeah, Jody, I'm a farmer. It's interesting, right? Jody likes me, guys. She wants me to teach her how to grow vegetables sometime. Okay, so she's done talking to me. Wait, what was her name again? Not Jody. We remember Jody, all right? Come on. She's obviously putting out a vibe, but we gotta find Pierre. Tell him to cook his wife some dinner already. Let's see, did they tell me? Did the, the houses get marked on the map? Yes, they did. Right there, Pierre's general store. So let's go see if we, we should go talk to Pierre. And maybe see nothing happen. Augie wants to know who I'm marrying? Bro, I'm just meeting people right now, okay? Don't push me into making those kind of decisions. There's Mayor McCheese. Saloon gets lively at night. Put a coin in the jukebox, okay. Now listen, Pierre, I want to talk to you about your personal life, okay? Yep, I am. No, listen, stop talking to me about that stuff. Your wife wants you to cook dinner. Cook dinner for her. There are handsome strangers moving into town, and she's talking to them about your marital problems, and that's not good for you, Pierre, okay? Like, you don't want her talking to me about your problems. Ooh, what's this? Dang, this lady... She didn't, she got her job taken away. Very lucky to have a library in such a small town. So Penny's the town librarian, okay. <laughs> Emily is concerned about sustainability. And I'm hanging out in the bar, great. I'm here, bro. Okay. Put on some soft romantic music for us, Emily. You're Emily, right? Let's talk about sustainability and listen to that music from when my grandpa died. <laughs> ah, not great. All right. What's up, Nick? 
Ben says it's usually flavor text if it doesn't directly involve you, usually. Oh, Jessica, you said in Newark you're still waiting on the storm. I don't, you know what? I think this storm is going to be a bust. I don't think we're getting anything. Yes, Haley, as a matter of fact, I am. Don't mind me as I creep around your house. It's a little weird. All right. I guess we'll just go back to the house. Check on the crops, go to bed, and tomorrow we should have a harvest. Gotta say, I usually used to things a little more, more fast pace. Giving me that dopamine rush a little faster than what we're getting here. Hello to Sarah and Sarah and Sydney. How's it going? This is Stardew Valley. I'm building relationships with the town folk. Oh, he's got a little energy left. Let's bust up some rocks. Oh, wait. Seeds. Can we grab those? Are those seeds? Huh, I guess not. <gasps> Inventory full. Can you store stuff? What do you got to do here? Yo, can I put, can I keep stuff in the, I guess we'll give Mamre Cheese some of our rocks or something, right? Uh, buy this fiber from me, I guess. When I wake up in the morning, you'll have left the money. You can craft a chest. Boom, we're doing that. Even though it looks like we just sold all our crafting resources. Yo, look at that. We made some money. Okay, all right. Day five, year one. What do we need to craft a chest? 50 wood. Oh, and it's raining. Huh. Wait, can we harvest these guys? We got parsnips! And dude, he's totally like playing Super Mario Brothers 2 right now with him pulling those parsnips out like that. All right, let's get, wait, are these pota potatoes aren't ready yet? And the store's not going to be open yet. All right, all right, it's cool. You know, we need some wood anyway. I need my axe axe, okay. We got to build a chest, yo. And okay, when he gets tired, let's try eating some parsnips. And bro is up early to get his, right? I mean, a lot of people sitting in their bed, waiting for a handout. Not Farmer Obi-Wan. He's up at 6 a.m. with the Sith, cutting stuff down. Jessica wants to know. Sarah says you can build chests or buy a bigger backpack at Pierre's. I'm going to build a chest this time around. Jessica wants to know if you can build higher stamina. Well, everybody else who's played this game, can you? I don't know the answer to that. Busting up some rocks here. All right, so let's find out where are we at on wood right now. Do we almost have enough wood to craft a chest? And we're doing this all before 8 a.m. Look at this guy. It's going to be about all he can handle for the day, though. He's going to get tired. And who can blame him? Like, I'm not, I didn't chop down a tree this morning. I got on the elliptical at 4 a.m., but I got to tell you, it's not exactly the same. No, I want to eat it. Oh, okay, wait. All right. I mean, you know, it wasn't huge, but it was helpful. A little bit of food. We can get some more done during the day. 
<laughs> Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's Zero Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. You know what? We're going to craft, but let's go check out the backpack. We got a bunch of stuff to sell Pierre anyway. Zach says you find star drop things. When you level up, you get more stamina. I want to level up. Hey, Pierre, you guys want until 10, right? I don't know if they're open. Hello, Pierre. Speak to me of your backpack first. What, is it on the shelf? Listen, brother needs a backpack, okay? Oh, there it is. $2,000? Oh, friend. You do not understand the sad state that we are in. And we also don't know how to sell things to you. Okay. Come on, buy some parsnips from... Oh. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we didn't get very many par much money out of those parsnips. That was a sad showing, but you know what? You know what? Let's let's upgrade. Let's plant more potatoes. It's gonna take longer, but that's what, when you're a farmer, you gotta play the long game, dude. You have to play the long game. Let's go plant some potatoes. And then it might be time to go on adventuring or something like that. Oh man, listen to this. Everybody's like, my wife likes this game. You can still be a man. This can be a masculine game. Look, I have a male character right now. Holy crap. I've been playing this for a long time. Our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. And Jojo Mart is crazy. I don't trust those guys. They're wanting me to join their frequent shopper program. I'm like, I don't even know you, who you guys are. Oh, okay. All right. Mandy, I have this game but gave up on it early. You make me want to pick it up again. I don't know, Mandy. Like, Oh, man, Sarah, I wish I had seen that. Sarah says cauliflower was the way to go. Well, we all make mistakes in life, children. Yeah, just... What does it want me to do with these rocks? Oh, okay, he was just holding it. I thought I had some more seeds around here that I hadn't picked up. Okay. Well, oh, dude, you know what? Let's go ahead and craft our chest. That's what we started our day with. This will be our first crafting item of the entire game. Clip. Okay, I'm going to say we should put the chest inside the house. Uh-oh. Just need to select something else, right? Whatever, man, just open the door! All right. Now, chest placement can be very important. Here. Hmm. Well, can't say that I have... Oh, you can color it. That's cool.
If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. Didn't I kind of do that? Okay. Ra raising animals. Now we're getting somewhere. Raw materials and money. She'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to build a coop or barn so that you can raise animals. Dude, I want to build a coop. And wait, where'd they say Robin was again? Say north of town? I saw her in town. No, oh, north of town. Okay. Let's go talk to her about what kind of resources we need to build a coop. Because I feel like we need some chickens up in this farm. You know what I'm saying? And she lives up here. Actually, let's just consult the map. Community center. Haven't even been there yet. Carpenter shop. Home of Ra ah. I'm the worst at the buttons. Can I get there from here? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's stop in at the community center. You know what? The community center where I used to work out, they had a... Oh. Doesn't look like it's an actual building. <gasps> Save the clock tower. Save the clock tower. Uh, looking like I'm not going to make it this way. Oh, uh, maybe. Yo, Robin, I see where you live and you're hiding from me. Come on. Yo, Nick. How are you, man? Okay, she wants to sell me all kinds of stuff. No. My house is construct, built. <gasps> Look at how much money it's going to cost! 4,000 gold, 300 wood, and 100... Now, look, we can get that wood. No problem. But, like, that is... That's a lot of gold, girlfriend. Like, you... You are asking a lot. I can get that wood. That's gonna take a few days. Okay. Well, this is good. Now you're starting to get the idea here. We're getting some long-term goals here in the Stardew Valley. So... We want to buy a kick, not buy, but build a chicken coop so we can raise some chickens. And that's going to take days. I'm going to have to have my potato crop come in, and then I'm going to have to take my potato crop and sell it. Sarah said cauliflower was a better option, and we'll have to get ourselves some cauliflower. And it, it's going to be a while, but in the meantime, we could go ahead and chop some wood. What do you got for me? Hello, axe. Let's do this. Okay, so somebody in the chat talked to me and tell me about uh, where I can go, like, cave dwelling and hunt monsters or whatever. And tell me if I need a weapon, if I can use my axe. Like, is that good enough to go in the cave? The cave of Kyar Banor. Where, carved in mystic runes upon the living rock... The last words of Ulfin Bedwyr of Regis! Maybe he was dictating. Alright. Just clearing some space, guys. We got some energy left. Let's go ahead and chop down one more tree. Oh, 
oh, we might have energy for one more tree to cut down. Can I grab? Nope, sure can't. So, should I keep selling? How much money do I get? I should save the wood. Let's not... Yeah, let's... Ah, uh, we can sell the sap. And what's this? Coal? To the right of Robin's house and tried the Adventurer's Guild? Oh! Now we're getting somewhere. All right. It's 7.30. That's what most single farmers, it's when they go to bed, right? 7.30? Yeah, dude! Yes, we just leveled up. Basic fertilizer. Watering can proficiency and hoe proficiency. Axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. Nice. Field sock. Snack. Uh -huh. I knew that. Yeah, didn't exactly snag a whole lot of cash out of that, huh? <laughs> Cock-a-doodle-doo. I hear ya. Alright, we gotta go check out the... Let's, let's water our plants and check out the Adventurer's Guild. And man, are these potatoes ready yet or what? I do kind of like the music. They've got just a real, like, hopeful, the day is starting, I'm a farmer kind of vibe going there. It's good. All right. Man, why does watering the plants take so much energy out of this kid? Okay, let's go find ourselves the Adventurer's Guild. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see, Zach said that was to the right of Robin's house. Okay, so here's Robin's house. Wait, isn't it? Right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Zach's wife says it doesn't open until two o'clock. Hello? Well, let's see what this guy's about. What's up, dude? Why do you live out here alone, old man? I'm going in your tent. That's not weird, right? I mean, you assume at some point they're going to do something with that, but rail mode. Ooh, what's this? The Mines of Moria. They call it a mine. A mine! What's up, Patch Adams? I was just peeping down into this old mine shaft. Yeah? Let's go down there, Marlin. 
That's what this axe is for. <gasps> that dude just gave us a rusty sword. Shut your mouth. The Adventurer's Guild, Marlin said we could probably become a member. I think I might be up for that. Okay, so let's equip the sword for, wait, where'd it go? For sure. Okay. Dude, this means we can upgrade swords. All right, we're going in. Cover me, Porkins. Hey, all right. No. Oh, there's another level. Now look, I need more than just stones, okay? I'm gonna need something cool. And that's not even giving me stone, it's giving me nothing. Dude, health meter now. That's new. Yeah, some copper. Nice. All right. Oh, music's changed. There's the next level down, man. But we're getting tired, and I don't think I brought any food. Lunch. All right, let's concentrate on just the potential copper ore as I hit other rocks. Okay. Yes, monster. Come here, monster. No, you're not. You're not supposed to go away. You're supposed to attack me because you don't understand me. And you fear what you don't understand. Oh, and now he's coming back because he saw that I was swimming. Right. Any monster gods? Nope. Not really. Dude, that's a slime. Straight out of, uh... It's a dragon warrior. Whoa! Whoa! I got a... <laughs> I got a dwarf scroll! Dude, that's awesome. Alright, so this is a farming simulator that also has a dungeon crawling element. It's kind of cool, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> All right, a couple more rocks, then we're out of here, right? Ooh, what is that? We have not seen this kind of rock before. All right. I don't want to get so tired that we get quasi stuck down here. So let's climb out, but don't you worry. We're, we're coming back tomorrow for sure. I also want to know how much money we can get out of the copper ore that we found. Ooh, what's this? Is there an elevator? Okay. Well, we'll stick with that stuff for now. Okay, so there's the Adventurer's Guild, which is now open, I think. At least according to Zack's wife. Proven adventurers only. <gasps> I haven't proven myself. Man, I killed a green slime! Yo, who is this guy? Sup, Demetrius? What's that? Huh. Is this... It's Robin's place. Hey, Robin, could you... Tell me where... Actually, let's see something. 
How much will she give me? Oh, no, I didn't bring my wood. But she would buy stone. She would give me 52 gold for 26 stone. Well, I mean, we are mining for a purpose, and that purpose is to make some money, so we'll take it. Nate, don't collapse in the mine. Leave enough time and energy to get out. There are elevator shortcuts every five or ten levels. Thanks, Nate. Good call. Uh, I was afraid of that myself. You get excited, you run out of energy. Oh, a lovely lady alone in the garden. I'm Farmer Obi-Wan. Can I help you? Hey, I wear glasses. Yeah, I'm the one that just moved in. Okay. Let's check that map. Look into the museum, right? I don't think I've seen the museum yet. I think that's the museum up there? Well, we're not going to find out today. Let's go to Pierre's, see if he'll buy this copper ore that we found. Well, it's got to be south of here. What's up, Jaden? While you were playing PUBG, I was farming. Oh, he won't buy the copper ore either. Where can we sell that? All right, y'all. Maybe I know. Oh, excuse me. I wanted to leave. <laughs> Abby's a little too interested in doom and gloom, huh? That could be Caroline. Are you the one that was trying to get Pierre to cook you dinner? Oh, uh, he wants to be alone. You know, I met a very nice girl outside. Um, seem to be single. Maybe you don't have to be alone. Be so bitter like that. She needs glasses. Alex is hitting the gym. Oh, no, he did a thousand push-ups yesterday. Boy, Pam has got an attitude. Pam is, uh... She's the one that lost her job, though. So, you know, that, that kind of stress can be hard. All right, we just met Leah. I think we wandered around her house earlier. I wish there was a mall. I know. All right, let's go home. And we need to remember tomorrow we got to find a copper ore place. But dude, first thing, we're going right on back to that mine and going adventuring. I mean, farming life is great and all, but I want to go adventuring. Uh, let's see. Got a little bit of energy left. Let's burn it on chopping down a tree. Yeah, you did. Oh, my inventory's full. I wonder if that stuff will still be there tomorrow. I hope so. We're gonna chop down one more tree, and then this guy's gotta go to bed. He's up too late as it is. All right. I wonder if we can just drop the copper ore in there and have the uh, Mayor McCheese buy it. Let's find out. Sure enough. Oh, did they have to call it a common ore? I was excited about it. Now oh, we gotta take that to the museum. Just feel like they were minimizing. They called it common. 
Yeah, I know. It's not that intense, Jaden. I feel it. But the idea is we're farming and we're adventuring. We're just chilling, you know? <laughs> Let's go out here and check on our potatoes. Who is this guy? What's up, Clint? Yeah? And your point is? Alright, we've got blueprints for a furnace. Okay, alright, okay. Oh, brother, so it sounds like the crafting system goes pretty deep here, huh? When you've smelled a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Alright, let's take a look at that crafting menu, huh? Twenty copper, twenty-five stone, ore and coal into the metal bars. Yeah, but what do you? Aside from giving it to him, what am I gonna do with that? Dude, we need to start using fertilizer, right? You think we can put fertilizer on existing plants? Let's find out. Wait, what do we need for fertilizer? We needed two sap. Heck, man, let's chop down a couple of trees, right? See, and this is how you get hooked, because now if we chop down too many trees, that's going to put us in a position where we're going to be too tired to go adventuring. And so that gets pushed back a little bit, and we just spend a day working on the farm. But let's check out some of these new crafting resources. Why not? Alright, there's a sap. Oh, right. We got some sap. <sighs> I got these potato plants that are almost ready. Let's craft some. Okay, crap. Never mind. Look. Never. Okay, so if I've crafted something and my inventory is full, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I have to throw something away? <sighs> well, that's great. Let's clear some stuff out. Alright, well, we're not fishing right now. We can plant an oak tree. That's awesome. Seems like I'm kind of using everything else. Wasted a lot of sap, I can tell you that. Not what I meant to do. All right. Must be added before planting. All right. So let's go ahead and just uh, put that in here. And the next time we want to plant. Oh. Gotcha. Doing pretty good on energy. Let's get that green slime stuff. Why don't we? Oh, we still got to water the plants. some watering and then let's go do some adventuring man it's like that potato crop has never happened right maybe we should start thinking about taking the money that we have and i know we wanted animals i know but maybe it's time to start expanding the farm go a little bigger plant some more crops, and then, you know, at some point we'll be ready for a big harvest. You know, you got to think small now, but then it goes big when it all gets here. Do we save up and get the chickens? What do we need, like 4,000 gold? That's, that's 
It's gonna take forever to get those chickens, dude. And why does this guy get so tired watering plants? Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Let's expand the farm, guys. Come on. Let's go big. Let's go get... Sarah told us a little bit ago that cauliflower seeds was the way to go. So let's get some cauliflower seeds. Hey, look at that. James Truslow. James, do you know that we were talking about you today in the studio? We just happened to be playing one of your songs. And we were talking about you and wondering about, you know, how it's going. Because I'm a fan. Hey, speaking of Radio U fans, tell me... Who doesn't love, no, tell me who loves the Grey Haven song that got added to Radio U today, featuring propaganda. Ow! It's so good! I love it so much. And I've been doing their back catalog, man. Go check out the Grey Havens. They've got three albums. Their lyrics are so good. Sometimes it's nice when people don't explain everything to you. You have to think about it. It's the kind of lyrics they write. I love it. The Pelican Town Community Center. Yes, it's broken down, Lewis. The mayor wants to... <laughs> People just want to watch things on TV, like their stupid video games, instead of coming to the Pelican Town Center. Okay, so it sounds like now we're being presented with some kind of an option. Do we join the Joja Corporation? Or do we somehow reopen the community center? All right, let's go check it out. <laughs> David says it would be cool if you could switch the background music. Well, you know, the thing is, is that really on the PC, you can do just about anything you want, but... I usually end up getting a copyright hit or a takedown notice or something if I do that, and I'm not going to do that. Hey, that's cool. They built a little treehouse. What's that? Hey, I killed a green slime a little bit ago. I hope he wasn't a friend of yours. <laughs> Was not a rat, bro. He looks like one of those guys from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. The Pluto guys. Plutonians? Look, Mayor, don't be talking smack with me, alright? You want me to help you reopen this place or not? Okay. Alright. What were we going to do again? <laughs> like, I don't remember. Mayor McCheese messed me up. Okay, we said we wanted to expand the farm. Let's do it. Let's go buy ourselves some more seeds. Swing in Pierre's here. Okay, it was the mayor's birthday. I feel like get him a present or something. Twelve days. <sighs> All right, well, let's do it. Let's get five of them. We're going to use up some of our fertilizer, plant ourselves some cauliflower. <laughs> you know, I typically play games like I'm playing Assassin's Creed right now on my Xbox. That's stuff like, let's find the pyramid. Let's stop the whatever. I'm trying to protect Cleopatra and root out Egypt's enemies. But in the meantime, I'm down here and I'm trying to, <laughs> excuse me, 
uh, plant some parsnips and now some cauliflower. All right, we need the hoe. No offense to anyone. I guess I don't technically need this much soil, right? All right. Let's chop down some trees, see if we can get ourselves some more sap so that we can craft some more fertilizer, and then we'll plant ourselves some cauliflower. <laughs> Again, when you say it out loud, it sounded pretty dumb. That's why I gave up CrossFit, so I'd have more energy for my... Oh man, the inventory's full again? Alright, come on. Oh, we also got the stuff to plant an oak tree, which is kind of cool. Alright. Oh wait, we're gonna sell some of this stuff. Let's dump it in Mayor McCheese's box here. Ah, what the heck, let's just sell the wood too. Where was that tree we just cut down? How all that sap? Shoot. Where'd it go? Huh. Dude, James, I'm excited about cauliflower too, bro. After 12 days, I'm told that it can really benefit us greatly. All right, one more tree. Get enough sap to make some more. All right. We got some sap now, baby. But of course, our inventory is going to get full. We really need enough money to buy the backpack. But before we buy the backpack, I kind of want to build the chicken coop. And that means I've got to get the cauliflower planted. It's pretty busy around here these days, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, really, really busy. And we still haven't gone to the museum to see what's in the dwarf scroll? Um. Okay. Let's take that fertilizer. And let's craft some more fertilizer. <gasps> Rat Dude, there's all kinds of stuff in the journal for us to do. But we can't because we're busy right now. How many cauliflower did we get? Five, so... Let's fertilize, baby. Come on. Now, let's plant... <laughs> James, this is for you, dude. I'm planting the cauliflower. Did it happen? There it is. And now you just gotta water that seed and make it grow. See, these are teachable moments right there. <laughs> yep, teachable moments in Stardew Valley. All right, we're almost out of energy. You just go to bed at any time and end of the day. Oh, dude, we could plant, we could plant this oak tree. But where would you want to plant an oak tree? Hmm. Come on guys, let's find a good oak tree spot. If I had a good enough axe, we could clear out this stump. I feel like that's a good place for an oak tree. You know what, let's just wait. Let's put that in storage. Well, I mean, we could put it like right here, right? You can think right in there. I don't know. Okay, let's work our inventory a little bit. We're getting rid of this. Let's save the sap. We'll even save the wood. Let's get our sword back. All right. Let's look at that crafting menu one more time. Gate, a fence, a gravel path. Look, furnace, we need copper and stone. How can fire undo stone? And what's this? Oh, that's the torch. 
I don't know. You know what? We're going to go to bed. Tomorrow we're going to find... What is that we were looking for? We want to go check out the Adventurer's Guild. Oh, look at that. So little money. A lot of money spent not making a lot of money. That's not how you get the paper that you need, guys. Still spring, though. Don't have to waste time watering today. Can Are these ready to be... I think those are ready to be harvested. <gasps> Our parsnips came in! Dude, the potatoes are in too. Look at that. Now we're getting somewhere. These are potato plants that aren't yet ready. All right, let's go into town. Nah, you know what? Let's not. We don't have to do any whatever today. Let's store these plants. Let's take the green slime for energy. And let's go to the cave today. Carl says, Obi, this isn't you angrily playing Eve online. <laughs> what you guys don't know is that Carl is a regular Riot listener. And every time we talk about video games, he texts me and tells me how much he wants me to play Eve online. It's never going to happen, dude. <laughs> it's never happening. I'm never playing Eve. I did, Carl, get Eve Valkyrie for the PC, and I've been playing that on the Oculus Rift a little bit. That is a lot of fun. Uh, though, it can also be really barfy, because, dude, like, you can seriously get motion sick from all of that whipping your head around. It's a lot of fun, though. Though, I will tell you, the game itself, they never have anything that is quite as cool as the demo that they showed uh, I went to Best Buy and got to play some demo of it. I I have yet to see anything that I thought looked quite as cool as that demo did. All right, look, let's go up there and find out what that is. I think that's the museum. And maybe they can tell us about the dwarf scroll that we've been carrying around. Danny says, no Eve, Star Citizen Alpha. You know, Danny, I'll tell you why I haven't bought into Star Citizen yet. Because it's not a thing yet. Like, that game turns into a game... And I would be interested in it. Because, like, I mean, I played Wing Commander back in the day. Like, I'm I'm up for Chris Roberts stuff, but... Okay, so how do we get up there? No. This scene... Oh, it's the railroad. Okay, so then it's not the museum. Then what is the museum? Help me! Haven't been to the Wizard's Tower yet. Alright, there's a... Look at that. There's a little house in there that I haven't looked at yet. That might be the museum. Huh. Alright, well anyway, let's go to this cave and do some mining and some green slime killing. If you guys aren't uh, keeping score, this is Stardew Valley. Uh, it's out on the PC. I bought it on Steam during the Steam sale for 10 bucks. Um, and then it's also on the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and on the Nintendo Switch. And I think it's like 10 bucks uh, on those. Or no, excuse me, I said 10. It's 15. Look, I don't need just stone. Like, I need... All right. The reddish rocks are the only ones that I've had actually give me copper. Ooh, look at that. Now this is some big time copper. Yes, sir. Listen, green slime, I'm sorry that you have to die, but you have to die. Oh, but he left me with nothing. That's a bummer. What's that, dude? 
whatever it is, I can't hit it. Oh, you can only pick it up. I didn't even know you could do that. I really am digging on the music. Here's what's weird. I don't know if you guys do this ever, but um, I have been listening to video game music, uh, which is, again, not something I ever thought I'd really find myself doing, but uh, a lot of them are on Google Play. I've listened to the Mummy Demastered soundtrack. If you at all like chiptunes or like any kind of that like 16-bit, uh, bit tune, chip tune, like whatever kind of stuff. It, oh, I thought I got him. Uh, it's great. The Mummy Demastered. And then what was the other one I was listening to? Um, boy, I don't remember what it was, but there was another soundtrack that I was really digging on the other day. Um, and if you listen to the Riot or Radio U or whatever, you might not know this, but like I have parts of my job that require writing. And so I'm looking for music that does not have words. And uh, that inventory full... Take thy beak from out my heart, bro. Well, shoot, then. You know what we'll do? Let's go ahead and uh, let's eat one of these. No, eat it, dude. No, no, no. Well, can't, can I just get him? Shoot. Oh, uh, I see what I was supposed to do. Yes. Get that rusty sword out here. Sorry, green slime, but you gotta die. Ew, that was kind of gross sounding. Man, my inventory is full. I shouldn't have brought... Well, you know, you live, you learn. Is that Alanis Morris that? I don't know, but I do know this, that... Uh, I shouldn't have brought like my watering can down here or my axe or the uh, the other stuff. I should have left them. Just hogging inventory space that I don't need it to. You know, let's go ahead and eat this stuff. Whoa, okay. I wanna know what that is. That looks like silver. Oh, quartz. One thing is for darn sure, if I really want to keep doing a deep dive in these mines, I gotta get a bigger backpack. That's 2,000 gold. A lot of expensive stuff in this game. Hey, Emily. Tim says, also, if you like chip tunes, I can't recommend the artist Chip Zell enough. Big giant circles. Okay. Uh, Danny says, I've had a lot of fun playing the alpha. I totally get your point, though. Have you seen the Mark Hamill videos? <laughs> yes, Danny. I have watched the... Well, wait a minute. Mar so Mark Hamill's an E is not an Eve, but in uh, Star Citizen. No, I did not know that. I thought you were talking about all the angry Mark Hamill Last Jedi videos, which I did just see a bunch of those. Somebody sent them to me. Looks like I'm running out since I'm completely out of storage space. A smart play. Whoa, what's that? It doesn't matter because I can't pick it up. Let's ditch the stones. Why not? Just so we can pick up whatever the heck that is. I got stones on the farm. Bug meat. Ha ha ha! Order, can you eat it? Mm. 
No, 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 no. Do not throw away the sword. What are you doing? Oh, I can't eat the bug meat, so what am I supposed to do with it? Just sell it, I guess. Alright. There really isn't much point in even killing that slime. Even if I got some energy from him, I can't pick it up. This is level 5, and somebody in chat said that level 5 is where we could probably take an elevator back up. Alright. What's up, y'all? I'm out. I got a bunch of this stuff. I don't remember where I can sell it. Who was it that told me they would buy the stuff I pick up in the mine? Was it her? Robin's not even here. Looks like business days are over. What's up, Demetrius? Is he like a scientist? He's got the periodic table on the wall? What's that guy do? Tim says, elevators allow you to go to that level instantly. Ladders and elevators both allow you to leave immediately. Nice. Okay. Emily says, she's just started playing this game. The rain doesn't stop me from getting my job done. Well, that's funny because uh, I noticed that you're not... Uh, can't both be in the hallway at the same time. You gotta wait. Jeremy says, quick way to sell stuff is throw it in the box. Yeah, I was actually wondering if different... Oh, there's a basement. I was wondering if different like places would give you different value amounts. Like, hey, visit this store and you'll get more money. But it, it sounds like that must not be the case. <laughs> you might see a frog in this weather. Is he the one that everybody was saying needed to lighten up? Look, he's a little emo, but here's what you gotta understand. We need all kinds of people to make the world go round. Let's see if we can find the museum, which of course will be closed because it's late at night now. Who's this guy? What's up, yo? Oh, he's the guy that said he could make us stuff if we brought him bars from building a furnace. It's getting late. It's time to get Obi-Wan the farmer home. Hello, little plants. Goodbye, little pl Oh, wait. Let's drop stuff in the... Earth crystal. Should we donate it to the museum? Sure, why not? I guess we'll keep it. Oh. Tomorrow we gotta do some farm business, okay? We gotta... Yeah, we leveled up, nice. Better pick ass, and now we can make a cherry bomb? Tim says we should really keep the copper. What's the copper for? Better tools. Well, I like the sound of that. Okay. So we should start keeping copper to upgrade our tools. We'll keep that. Let's go sell our parsnip and potatoes. I'm 
else we get later in the spring. Take a look at that. Oh, let's not forget to water everything, right? farm. I'll be back. Dude, Tim, I like what you're saying there about better tools means less energy. Now that, that sounds good because for real, energy is obviously the biggest, most important currency. Well, it's not the most important. It's balanced out with this gold here. They don't open until 9 a.m. All right, guys, I'm getting some Stardew Valley fatigue here. The stream is coming to a close pretty soon. I've only been playing for... How long have I been playing this? Almost two hours. Oh, stop watering, bro. That was just... What is this? I don't think we've been in here yet. 8.30. See me walking in circles, waiting for the whatever this is to open. I think it's the museum. Mayor? Mayor? I don't need to see you, Mayor. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Seems like there was one other house on the list that I hadn't explored yet. Oh, blacksmith right there. So next to the blacksmith. Hey, that must be the library. And that's got to be the blacksmith, right? Because we met the librarian already. Uh, Chris is wanting to know where we hide the bodies. Dude, you uh, put them with the pigs, right? Never trust a pig farmer? What's up there, Gunther? I guess this must be the library slash museum. Well, I'm going to donate it to you. That's why I've been carrying it around. If I keep donating, I might come across some interesting items. Sure, I'll give you some stuff. Yeah, let's donate some stuff. And we'll donate this too. Wow, it looks like there's a lot of stuff to find. Um, so we're gonna tell me about them. Mm-hmm. But I did. Oh, it told. It's in the journal. Let's find out. Ah. There we go. No. Let's find out what this stuff is. Um, we'll discover new crafting recipes. So we should make a furnace. You know what we haven't been doing a very good job of doing? We haven't been doing a very good job of mining the farm. All of a sudden you tell me I can go in the cave and start exploring and suddenly the farm seems way less interesting. <laughs> Uh, well, you know what, guys? I think that's going to be it for Stardew Valley for now. Um, I'm going to take a little break and 
I don't know. I'll tell you what. If you want to find me on Twitch, maybe I'll do some more streaming this weekend. It's Martin Luther King weekend, and uh, I might not clog up the Radio U video section here, but uh, I've got Obadiah Plays on Twitch, so that might be a place where you can catch me this weekend. So uh, I hope that you guys do have a fantastic Martin Luther King weekend, and I will tell you if you haven't yet, Think about subscribing to the Worst of the Riot podcast. Nikki and I had some great stuff in there this week, including <laughs> today I had some interesting ideas about the pyramids and also what's the other thing we talked about. That's great. I should have had this ready to tell you. I just know that I laughed a lot during the podcast today. So you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.